Hello. I'm here to point out few small but very significant problems in the English language spoken by Nepali people. You may not feel it when you speak to each other, but this will definitely be ridiculed when you speak to a foreigner. So today, let's just try to correct it to the best of our knowledge. The most significant problem I've found is the differences between the sounds of S and SH. So, the use of S is when you have to say, when you have to pronounce the sound S. And the uses of SH is related to the sound SH. Okay? Uh, let's try transliterating this to Nepali. S A becomes Sir, and then S H A becomes Sh. I guess you know the difference now. Let's just take some examples to understand it more clearly. The use of S is in S E E C. And then let's take another word S H E she. So when we convert this to Nepali, it would be S E E C and then S H E is no, I'm mistaken. She. Okay. C Okay, I hope you got this difference. Now, one more problem that I've found in the English language spoken by Nepali people is the differences between the sounds of J and Z. Okay? The use of J is when we have to... Uh, the, the sound is basically different when you say J. You stop the air with your tongue in the middle before letting it out. You, you stop in the middle. You block the air and then you say J. When you have to pronounce sounds Z, you do not block any air. You just let it out. Like Z. J. Z. J. Z. And then, let's take some examples of J A C K. Z A C K. And they are pronounced differently. Jack. Zack. Jack. Zack. Okay, that's the difference. I hope you, uh, you got at least something from this video. I'd be happy if we could implement it and teach other people. Let them know that they are wrong speaking that way. Thank you for watching the video.